Chip. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Yo, yo. What up, dope people? Like to welcome you back to the Keep the C No podcast. As always, I am your boy Brown. To the left of me, we got. You got your boy John. And to the left of John, we got. Vito. Yeah, Vito stirred up a lot of commotion last week. Shout out to Vito. Shout out to everybody if this is your first time tuning in. We appreciate you. If you on YouTube, hit the sub button. You on Spotify, hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Brittany Griner, we've been talking about her for a couple weeks. She got nine years. It's a lot of flat, a lot of uh comments going on on social media. What's your thoughts real quick on it? Brittany Griner get nine years. Keep it a C note. Uh, I'll start this one. Um, it's unfortunate, but I, I think she knew what she was. She, I, I, I don't. She had to know the ramifications of what it would be to bring weed in a foreign fucking country. I'm sorry, you're in Russia, right? Um, and for United States, to and even it couldn't been a mistake. A mistake on that vet? No, I don't think it was a mistake. I think she honestly owned up to it, but. I, do I think it was a, uh, that they went overboard on a ruling and her, her sentencing? Yes, I do. But, I mean, that ain't no different from what goes on in America every day with a normal black man being locked up. Now, we got men locked up for life right now for because of fucking weed. So, I mean, right, right now. But trafficking now. Yeah, I had some. But trafficking now. They was trafficking, right? No, no. People who, like, let's say that, like, Especially during Joe Biden, y'all favorite fucking president. There's still people serving life because they were on the third string caught with weed. Just so, caught with it. Caught with weed, bro. So, okay. I mean, th- 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 there's always been bad judgments here in the, uh, in our court system. And that's why, as you see, that they tried to eliminate that by taking out the federal court from seeing state where, where they wanted to uh, get a retrial or appeal, appeal right. a case with the, with the feds. And they, they took that out. Right. So no, I think they want these folks to to serve their bid and me. She just gotta she gotta serve that time. I'm sorry. Like it ain't worth trading up no uh no arms dealer. It's sad that she gotta do nine years, but I'm not trading no arms dealer f- for her. I mean it's fucked up what Russia did. I ain't gonna forget it. You could sanction it, but I I don't know. But what you think, Vito? She's a pawn. She's a pawn. <laughs> Why you say that? Because at the end of the day, I forgot who sent it. it might have been one of y'all about how they had uh, a- another female who got caught. With, I think with the same amount of uh, weed. And, I think it was more weed. Yeah, and, yeah. and she got uh, what the like eighteen months or some shit. Yeah. So the fact that Brittany Griner is famous from the United States and like a big name as far as women's basketball, they that was their way of trying to get them to trade off. On that guy, because they, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they made a trade off before with somebody else. Let me ask y'all this: Y'all ever heard of Mark Fogle? No. Mark no. Fogle? No. Who's that? He's a teacher from the United States. He went over to Russia in August of '01. He was prescribed marijuana card over here. He mistake. He took his joint over to Russia. They locked him up at the airport. He been locked up for since August of 2021. He got sentenced to 14 years in, in, in Russia's prison for the weed. But he's not being mentioned. He wasn't in the in, in the mention of by and with the trade thing you talking about. So, you know, there's there's been people that's been getting time. Like Brittany Griner didn't get 14 years. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And boy was prescribed meds and all that. It's he, yeah. And he's 60. And that goes to show. And he's 60 years old. So you know, I understand what people say it's a political thing and all, but I think Russia just, period, don't like United States. So if we come over there on some bull crap, they going to sock it to so, us. So I got to find out what exactly. <laughs> all, all, <laughs> sock it to I got to find out where that girl was, Audrey, Audrey Lober. From, she was 19 and she had uh, 17 grams of THC on her. And she, uh, she was released that's after two months detention and fine. 15,000 rubles or whatever. Their, their money. Oh, so that should let me know where she's from. But Yeah, so we got to look into that and look into her and see why she she got out like that. 
But you know the Britney Griner thing to me, I'm like it's a bunch of people that's locked up over there. Like the, him getting 14 years was like, look, they over there roofing people. Yeah, they are. What's your thoughts on it, people? Britney Griner, nine years. She got sentenced. How you feel about it? Keep the C note. Let's talk. Vito. Vito is an ambassador. Ambassador of Beyonce. Um, Beyonce new album. <laughs> no. You know, you love Beyonce. You a spokesman. Yes, I do. You know what I mean? Beyonce, 335, her first week. That's still great numbers. Mm -hmm. But from her last album, which went over 600K. Damn, Beyonce um, numbers. The album, <laughs> the, the album really kind of flopped. Mm -hmm. She had to take a like She took the song off with Khalees. She ended up taking another song off. Um, she's been getting criticized for having 2021 20, writers on every song, damn near. She's also been criticized for... Hold on, hold on. Criticized for having 2021 20, writers? What yeah, they said every on song on a new album a has at least 12 to 21 writers on each song. Oh. So she's getting a lot of flack for that, and she's receiving flank, flack because she keep redoing people's songs, and she's not doing original music. What's your thoughts? Beyonce fell off? Any of that, dude? May, maybe. But let me start it off. Go First ahead. and foremost, as far as remaking songs, uh, Mary J. Blige is considered the queen of hip of uh, R and B, and that's she started her career with rem all remakes. Ain't no Luther, doubt. Most of Luther Vandross' hits are all yes, remakes. He's right, the king of remakes. And as far as her falling off, it's possible because nobody stays on top of Ella. Right. Three hundred. In the first week, it's That's great numbers, but it's not Beyonce numbers. She could have fell off of this album, but ain't no telling what the bounce back would be like. So, like, right, like I don't fault her for doing the remakes. If you could do a good remake, shout out to you. Um, as far as uh, with the Khalees thing, uh, Beyonce did a nice power move on that since Khalees wanted to run her mouth. Khalees did not write that song. She had, she did yes. not write that song. No, she and she did not produce she pr it. produce that song. And what Beyonce did was put her name as one of the creator. I don't know producers or writers on the song so she could get paid off of it. But now since you want to open up your mouth, Beyonce was like, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna pull the song. Now you ain't gonna get paid for shit. Okay. So that that's that's one way to look at it. And then, and and another thing that she did. That I'm kind of mad at is that she she flew with uh, society and Twitter and everybody jumping on her because she used the ableist slur. Fuck that shit. Like that was your that's the the lyrics you had. You should have kept it. You too, Lizzo, for saying fucking spaz. Some of these white folks they still out here saying niggas. So no, fuck but that. But they shit. ain't saying it on no records. Hold on. But no, they're not saying it on no records. Hold but on. For the record. But, uh, but why is a rapper okay? Exactly. A rapper could get away with saying whatever he wants, but a singer can't. But a white rapper not 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 going to get on there and say nigga. Hold on. No, no, but, but I'm just but saying. But the white but, people uh, in the crowd uh, say nigga when the rappers yeah, are but saying I'm, nigga. I'm, well, you know I'm, how many times a rapper said spaz on his albums and used derogatory but we, lyrics towards we, like. We to use spaz it. different. Like if right. you say if nigga crazy, he spaz out on him. Right. Yeah, and that's what on, she man. said. And that's the way she used it. She said spaz yeah, on Yeah, but, but, but this goes back. This goes back to what I tell you, Vito. And when I say she's not our music, she's a pop star. Because let let's just if you if you take a regular person R and B singer that says spaz, that's just making our music, nobody cares about that. Like hip hop, like you just said, hip hop artists say spaz all the time. Nobody but Beyonce has a different crowd because she caters nah, to she, she catered. You know, that's why she took it off because she she's caters to global, so everybody listens to it. She doesn't just cater to a specific audience. Her sound is for her makes. sound she is not for us everybody. no this more. This album like right here shit. is based basically go go style music, which is basically DC and Baltimore. Which Th is that's all black people. Which that ain't is them, basically that dance music. Yeah, matter of fact, DC, Baltimore, and and um. Spots in in, in Louisiana. Right. That's all catered to the black folks. That ain't catered to the white folks. Yeah, but who's doing the music right now? What you mean who's doing? Who's it? doing that type of music? All the pop stars. Drake. Drake is also a black man who is catered to a black. Or they just catering to another audience trying to get some more money. That's a money grab. No, because even when you listen to the songs, it's the same type of music, but it's not the same. It's just different beats. It, it's, what I'm saying is that go-go music is for blacks, right? Yeah. 
that music that they're making is the same rhythm, the same pit, but it's not for us. That's all I'm saying. Her music that she makes these days is it's not for them valley for our, girls, our them crowd. valley black girls. Well, how, how can you say that? If you look, how can you say it's not for our crowd? What is it different? Because it's because it, speed, up, speed up tempo? It's, it's, Mo, it's most not of, your traditional Most R&B. of her music That's is like down. equivalent to back in the day when you had them little techno stars and all that. To me. That's is is the same is the same type music. So um so let's let's just put this out there. So you're telling me the difference between R and B music and pop music is the tempo of the beat. No, I'm not saying that. So what, what I'm saying, saying is she doesn't our music R and B was ballads and shit. She don't no, do that. No, it's what people it's it's white people that make ballads, so I'm confused. So you're telling me that if you're white and you make a ballad that's still pop or is it R&B? But she's making like... It's pop, a pop, pop star song. trying to make an R&B song. That's what that is. When a, when a pop star... When Adele does... She's a pop star, but she's doing R&B music. You can do that. But these are... R, Beyonce is the opposite. She's an art. She came up an R&B star, but she makes pop music. That's what I'm saying. What is the difference between R&B and pop? Is it the speed of the beat? I think that does have something. I, to do. It has something to do with no, it, but it I, I think it's yeah, all speed of it. Up I think it's the all instruments, of it. the sounds. No, yeah, no. Every, it's all in the sound. To me, it's pop, all of it. You can you can listen to Drake's new album and tell it has a new sound it to becomes, it. It's sped up. It has like that it Forever Twenty One feel. Music when it's applied to the masses, when it becomes popular music, because I, there's still some oh, rappers so let me that ju- are hip hop. Before we go to are, the next, songs is in a pop to, look, before we go to the next topic, let me ask you this then, right? Uh-huh. The, the people back in the day that was making this type music, this dance type music now, uh-huh. but they weren't, they were, uh, like, uh, uh, pop, I guess you would say they were pop stars. What, oh. What's the, I don't know, like take somebody like uh what's the white guy name to make all the movies now that was in a group? Uh uh Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg? L- like take they type of music. That wasn't R and B, so what Marky was it? Mark in a funky That was hip hop music. It just came from a white guy. <laughs> Feel the vibrations is a Feel rap the song. Excuse me. <laughs> Feel the vibrations is a rap so he's rap right or wrong. Is he rapping in that song? He damn sure ain't singing. But is it is the answer to my question? Is he rapping or is he singing? You missed what I was saying, Juan. You asked the question and I'm answering it. Is he rapping or is he? Singing? I don't know what he's doing. You know exactly what he's doing, no, but I... you're trying to benefit your argument. No, and answer the question. Is he rapping or is he? Singing? He only be doing one of the two. I don't know what he was doing, but that's okay, why I asked. That's since why you, I asked you what on. kind of music since it was. You're acting ignorant, what do you think he was doing? Since you claim you don't know what he was. doing? I think they were a pop group. Okay, so you're saying they was trying to. So is pop rap? Or pop is singing. We're we going to get to the bottom of this today. It's still well, rhythmic rhyming. And uh-huh. I just think it's harmony. Uh, it's the well, way that you, you so put it's, it. So they I, were in I, a I hip-hop don't, I don't consider Young Thug a rapper, though. Because he, he's they harmonizing. Were, and, and, Biz Marky and them weren't considered a hip-hop You mean Marky Mark? I mean Marky Mark, pardon me. They wasn't considered a hip-hop group, right? Uh-huh. Okay. This is the point I'm making. So what, what, what were they considered? A pop, right? That's but he's I'm... fucking rapping. Yeah. It's just popular music because he was white. That, that's the difference between popular and he and, got, and what, what's the context of the that music? Is his music he, it was popular because it applied to the what's masses. What's the context? It didn't apply to us. It applied to the masses. It didn't but apply Beyonce to us. on the other side, she applied to us. She used to, but her music oh, isn't right, made for us. Before I end no off of this, I'm gonna just end it on this note because I'm I'm still stuck on this, and I and I know that we as black folks we do still keep that nigga word alive, and then for the fact that we gotta change a word and every other word in the dictionary that's insulting, derogatory to another fucking race is dead in the water. Because she is a I don't, when, I'm a on, when I'm on when I'm on I don't hear families. faggot no more. I don't hear kite. I don't hear wetback. I don't hear none of those derogatory terms for none of these other races no more. That shit is dead. You don't hear retarded no more, but you still hear nigga, and she still has to change her thing. That I mean, her lyrics. That's what bothers me. Because she and I know wants the money from she everybody don't have else. To change her lyrics. Yes, she, she does, because she wants the money she from everybody to. else. She doesn't have to. That's her core audience. This this feeling some type of way about that Listen, word. I, one thing I know about people: people' memories are short. So if if she'd have kept that shit on there, they would have bitched about it, and then the next album they would have bought that shit again. I don't know. Man, What's your the same way how they hated on Mike Vick, and soon as he became the star again, all that sh- all that dog shit went out the window. No, I think it's still a whole nah, lot of people. They was like that the, Michael Vick. He left the, the bad Eagle shit. stands were still filled. No, but there was yeah, still people fighting against him. Not just him. because of him, man. Yeah, and it was still <laughs> they, people they were still outside fighting. Drawn. Even there. 
Even yeah, when he became a sportscaster. I never bought tickets before. They still don't want, they didn't want him to be a broadcaster. In. Beyonce, 335,000 her first week is still good numbers, Album was people. Trash. But what's your thoughts on it? Did she fall off? Deshaun Watson got six game suspension. NFL, they appealed it. They won 12 games. I mean, they won a whole season, pardon me. What's your thoughts? Keep it a C note. Six Vito, games you, you can have this real quick. Because all I'm going to say is that the NFL never treated the same with white and black players when handing down uh, a punishment upon them. And I just think it's fucked up. And a lot of these other athletes were able to sweep shit under the rug. So uh, he doesn't deserve six games. It, he don't deserve six games neither? I don't, I don't think, no. Nope. Nope. What would what, what, you think, Vito? Four, four, six, First seven. and foremost, I just love how my man John said I could have it and just went on a rant. Yeah, <laughs> and went <laughs> ranting, said, right? Ahead, you got but it. I 100% agree with John. He don't deserve any games. He beat the case. Yes. Right. And then I understand they have a code of conduct, but I need to see this code of conduct book. Because at the end of the day, if I beat my case in a court of law, and then I got to come back to the NFL and get punished, and then I got, they went and got the arbitrator. Which gave him six games, and then you go behind her and still try to punish me to get a whole season just to appease these fans. Well, here's the thing: when we keep saying he beat the case, he only the only thing is grand jury said it was not yeah, enough, enough evidence, evidence to go to trial. Which means he beat the fucking case, right? But when I was on the show saying he should have never paid, once he settled out, that don't mean shit. Once he settled in their policy, it does. No, it don't. It does, bro. It, that because shit whole... you you can beat your case in the court of law, and you still got to go to if somebody does a um, I can't even think of the word, like with the OJ the, case, a civil case. Yeah, yeah, he beat the case in the court of law, but he got he went to civil and they took shit from him. So at the end of the day, he still was not guilty, but they still ran down on him on civil. So at the end of the day, and most of these women on the they didn't even go straight to criminal; they went straight to civil. So they was in it for a money grab anyway. They wasn't trying to get that man locked up on some real shit. Right. I think if a player beats the case or there's not exactly. enough evidence, whether it's the NBA, NFL, they need to stay the fuck out of it. That's what we That's got what the courts for. Yep. And then, My thing is this, right. and I'm still going to be on the same stuff. If it's not enough evidence to go to trial, I'm not paying you nothing. I, I agree with you. I'm not paying you I, nothing. I, I, I agree. But That's he, it. But see, but... I mean, Mike Mike Jackson. He looked he looked guilty as hell because he was paying off all them kids' parents and shit. But with Deshaun Watson, though, uh, his his case, like they 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 couldn't prove anything, but they knew exactly what was going on. He didn't deny what was going on, but it wasn't enough to to make it seem like it was a rape right. or anything. Right. It, uh, everything and if anything did if go down, it was consensual. Like you say, it, I'm not paying no, you nothing. That's where it go back to. And, for because that many people to come up is not, to me, it, it, it's it's not by chance. Last they, time when Mike was on here, we were a little confused. We didn't know if you can play with the allegations. Deshaun Watson could have still played mm -hmm. and been fighting them civil cases. He did not have to settle out. He would have got his money, and it wouldn't have been no nah, problem. But, but on the flip side, as far as the settling goes, I don't know if he settled out in, um, as far as the civil goes, but I know... The long, what you're not taking consideration is the fact that the longer you fight them cases, and it's twenty something women, that means you have to keep paying them lawyers. So no matter what, you're gonna wind up paying more if you fight them cases because the case is going for That's years. True. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be paying that lawyer for years. Right. But each individual at, person. Even while you paying them lawyers, you still playing. New endorsements is coming. You're not getting new endorsements with the fucking incentives with, with, with you sexual hold. harassment and sexual uh, misconduct cases. He don't got time. he don't got them cases. He's in the civil case. He what that was. But you're not problem. getting new endorsements. You, in yeah. actuality, you're gonna lose endorsements if anything. I don't know, but he still get his contract money, he and he still money. hit bonuses but see, for, but for every game. Well, but don't they that? factor that in for every game? Since it's six games right now, don't they factor his salary based upon the games yeah. that he, they got to take out? Yeah, that he's going to mess and, money, so he yeah, just so gave them a chunk of money. The girls mm -hmm. now he going to lose money if if they end up winning the appeal, he get a whole season. He done paid twenty something girls off, and he missed a season to pay. And he still might not get endorsements. But, but like I said, on top of that, if like if he'd have kept fighting the case, would've which would have could have, so let's say he fought the case for a year or or two, 
which could have equaled out to him still having to pay them chicks off for one and still miss a game. So no matter what, he would have been out of money. Listen to what I'm telling you. You allowed to play, you go ahead and perform, perform, he still got paid. perform, he play. and earn that money. I'm not giving you chicks nothing. But what's your thoughts, people? Deshaun Watson, six games enough. Should he be gone for a whole season? Keep the C note. Vito, your guy, the lefty. It's always <laughs> the lefties. The lefty, Jalen Rose. He received a lot of flack over the uh, weekend on social media. He says uh, we need to retire the term Mount Rushmore because it's an offensive. What's your thoughts on it? Keep it a C note. I like I like what he said, and I didn't even think of that. But when, once I seen it, he's right. Okay, he's completely right, and it actually, I mean, when people think of Mount Rushmore, I, I think when they say they say give me your Mount Rushmore, you, you're just thinking of your top four. But when you're thinking deep into it, yes, it has a, a racist kind of tone to it. And uh, the sculptor, he had ties with the KKK. Right. He did many sculptures down in the South. The, these generals and these guys that was for the South. Right. And then some of those uh, statues were actually taken down with the George Floyd thing that uh, just happened. Uh, not too long ago, but yeah, like in Atlanta, he has like this big ass sculpture on the side of a mountain and shit. Like he's known, and he definitely had ties with the KKK. And right. then for the and who who he did it for? I mean, like the guys who he did sculptures for, they were not like straight ass guys. They were all racist as fuck. And I don't give a fuck about all four of them fucking presidents up there. Fuck Abe Lincoln, George Washington, Roosevelt, about and, the acts. and, and, George, and back. Jefferson. And he did it on Native American land. land. So yeah. exactly. imagine if we go put a Nat Turner sculpture in the middle of white America. That shit ain't gonna last. Mm-mm. It definitely would not last. I agree with Jalen Rose as well. I was just baffled that on Twitter especially black people. So many black people were bashing mm-hmm. Jalen Rose, That's calling him fake woke. Call, yeah, they were saying he fake, yeah, he fake woke and all that. He trying to kick knowledge. You know what I mean? Yeah, they was going in on him. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, he do make sense. But a lot of people... When they think of Mount Rushmore, they're not thinking about KKK yeah. or none of that. And then that's just the facts of it all. Like, now, if Jalen Rose would have said those facts and when he said it, I know he kind of left it open, but he was still right, though. Yeah, uh, ain't no doubt. But he, the, I was just baffled that so many yeah, people, especially said, blacks, were crying awesome, anymore. And it's a shame that we contributed in trolling Jalen Rose over that shit. I'd rather you be fake woke than completely uh, asleep. Right. Right, I I agree with you on that one, Vito. So, what's your thoughts on Jalen Rose saying, "Um, we need to retire the Mount Rushmore," saying, "Fuck that shit," because it's offensive. Keep it a C note. Let us know your thoughts. Shit. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, da, da.